um, the program actually started in November, and um, it's been run in three campuses, Dominica, the University of in Barbados, UWE, and St. Vincent. And um, the first session went from November the 9th to December the 8th. And this session really was where they did ESL, which was where the students, it was focused on the students themselves enhancing their competence in English. And the second session started in January, in February, that's when we have the TESL, because they're actually teachers and they, so right now the session that they're doing, they are being exposed to methodologies and strategies that when they go back to Ecuador, they can teach the, the students. Um, part of it also involves um, a practicum. So they're going to be placed in some of our primary schools and secondary schools where they'll be observed using some of the strategies that they were exposed to. They also had to do community service so some of them are doing community services. They are with the food, Newton Football Academy. Some are with the schools where they teach their culture. They are with the Christian Union Primary School. They are the Achievement Learning Center. Some of them are with the church where they teach catechism. And they're involved in a lot of other activities. They go around and they play their music. And then there's also another component, which is called the intercultural communication, where they appeared with one student and um, they share, they learn from each other. So there's a lot of cultural immersion as part of the program, apart from just learning English. So they had the competency where they had to enhance their own competence in English, and they had the TSL where they had to be exposed to strategies and methodologies in teaching English, which is what they'll go back to do. And so the practicum is part of it, where they have to actually go to the classrooms and teach. So they, they will be in our schools, some in primary schools and some in secondary schools.